I want my outfit to, to look beautiful. If I think it's like beautiful and people love it as well and they can see my vision, I think that's, that's something successful. I'm always like drawn to like um, human body and eroticism. I love actually like studying, observing and deconstructing like two bodies uh, by distorting them as well. say this thing where I want to make people feel like they can dress their alter egos. But I've definitely used things that have been a part of my life and I've particularly been looking at fairy tales. Everyone has different sides to them and I feel like it's important to embrace those. Every time you're twirling and you're creating, you like get inspired and you get new ideas as well. well. I just love the creating, so actually like cutting it, sewing it all together. It's just so magical taking a piece of fabric and then making it an outfit. You always take like really expected turns and then you come out with something even more you than you expected it to be. I like streetwear, that's what I design. Street style, graffiti, skateboarding. I looked into like hip-hop, early 2000s grime as well. I've just taken out certain elements and silhouettes. I thought, how can I recreate this in a textile? Fashion doesn't have to be ridiculously serious. You know, like it's, it can be playful. My collection is sort of inspired by sort of like childhood, but coming from like a very retro vintage perspective, it's very 50s. One of my main themes is like the dollhouse. And each look is from like a different room in that dollhouse. With my collection, I'm being very, like, I'm over-exaggerating on every aspect of it as well. Like I want it to be very kitsch. I want it to look like it's from like an old carry-on movie. You can use it as a canvas for your own body to express what, what you feel, think, but also it is a proper piece, you know, this is real lingerie. I love to, to feel this really femininity, and, but at the same time, like, strong and powerful. I'm always, uh, I don't know, obsessed with soft fabrics. And I'm very meticulous about my work. I love like to bring this ethereal atmosphere. When the wind touches the skin, you know, like and how the fabric is like changing the light or is moving around the body. I would have something in mind. I will make a quick sketch and when you bring it to life, like on the mannequin, that's kind of three-dimensional. That's where you know I like to 
bring my imagination to life, I guess. It's fun, it's humorous, functional. I think it's important to me to create something new and original, to have like a signature to yourself. I always like to choose something unconventional, and I've noticed that is what I've been doing with my project. It wasn't my plan originally, but that's what I seem to be drawn to. I think being able to produce whatever idea you want into a visual three-dimensional creation and there being almost no limit is what is amazing to me. In native people, they used to kill animals and they used to use their skin to protect themselves from cold weather. So that's why I was looking into leather. I feel free to show who I am. So whenever I have to express my, whatever I'm feeling, um, I can do through my work. My grandmother, she used to make um, traditional costumes from my country. I kind of combined that idea with the new fashion. I want this collection to look like a moment in like someone's life. I think most people have gone through depression, so why not explore that? I feel like with fashion you can really explore like all the angles of like your moments or like your feelings. I want most of my thing covered but then oddly shaped so you can't even tell if it's a woman's body or a man's body. I like things that's like 3D. The creative direction for film, it's definitely more interesting to shoot because like obviously you're shooting like the moving image. I was really inspired by uh, 70s and 80s nightlife. People were going out, being kind of risky with fashion. I feel like I lived through the project while I was making it, which made my lockdown so much easier. Definitely need to like Consider, for example, like clothing, movement of clothing, how this clothes is gonna work, you know, breaking traditional norms in a way. I think you can dress however you feel, however you want, and just break the rules and, uh, yeah, express yourself. My name is Nathaniel Obiri. I intend to infuse um, both cultures as an African culture and that of the European culture in terms of fabric. People wear clothes every day and um, the kind of clothes you wear can make a statement, you know, political, social, economical, so culture becomes very essential and fundamental. For instance, you see the Western fabric in there, you see the African fabric in there as well, so it tells a story. I like to um, the construction. I like to make the pattern, like uh, made to measure, to make something that you can wear all the time. So basically, I'm working on uh, tailoring, but soft tailoring, just because I'm like precise. I like to do everything like perfect. All the tailor, even now, all the tailor are like men's, you know. And when you think about tailoring, it's like men's. So for me, no, tailoring is also women's. So it means, for me, it means like women can be like strong, but at the same time, they can be so chic with a blazer and a pair of pants. Whilst I'm designing, I just think of like 
comfortability. I want it to be like worn on a daily basis. I don't want it to be like couture and just be worn on a red carpet or something. I want it to be available. I feel like adding like a bit of couture kind of sense to a normal pair of jeans. In my head, it was just like trying to combine those two. That's usually my starting point in nature. The coral or like flowers or something like that. Something that you can try and recreate in fabric and manipulate it.